Laura Haybor is the first soccer player, man or woman, to be inducted. A standout player at Unity Christian, she set scoring records for the Crusaders and was a three-time All-American at Michigan State. The second woman to be inducted tonight was Josette McCullough, who was an Ottawa Hills alumna. She played three sports for the then Indians and then went on to play basketball on scholarship at the University of Delaware. Both women are still very active in athletics and are coaches themselves. I love the game. I love every, every bit of it. I was a player. I was a coach. Um, so just seeing a first soccer player, that's, that's cool. It's opening up doors for other people, and I think that's huge, especially in West Michigan, to see it grow like that. I was excited and surprised. I had been away from Grand Rapids for a little while. Um, I live on the East Coast now. My family's all here. And so when I got the call, I was like, what? And I was just so excited um, to hear that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Diane House is in the 2022 class, also honored as the Warren Reynolds Lifetime Achievement Award winner for her work as a physical education teacher with Grand Rapids Public Schools and the founder of the local Special Olympics program now called Area 11, serving with that organization for over 50 years. We were working with children and adults who had been told all their lives that they couldn't do anything, that they couldn't participate in sports. So it took a lot of extra time, lots of praise. That all made up the difference. Former Jenison and U of M football player David Brandt was also honored tonight. He was a four-year starter for the Wolverines, including the national championship back in 1997. He also had a career in the NFL with stops in Washington and San Diego. The late Fred Julian had his spot etched in history after a 34-year span as a head coach all over the Grand Rapids area, first at West Catholic and then at Grand Rapids Community College. He was all about loving the game of football and respecting it. And uh, his emphasis was more on building character than it was necessarily on wins and losses. It's an honor. I mean, just knowing what I accomplished here in Michigan, both playing at Jenison and also at U of M. Um, it's an honor to be coming up and be on one of these walls. And finally, the longtime head men's basketball coach at Cornerstone, Kim Elders. 1,000 career wins for him and 30 years with the Golden Eagles. He helped guide the team to three national championships and countless conference titles in his tenure with the team. This is special because it's local and a lot of these you know, people that have been inducted I know personally and have coached against or played against. and So it's pretty special to be inducted into the Grand Rapids Sports Hall of Fame.